Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we are going to be going over every single leaked bit of information in regards to the Gen 9 Pokedex, all brand new Pokemon that will be coming into these new games in Scarlet and Violet when they do drop in a little under, what, 19 days time. It goes without saying that this video is going to contain a bunch of spoiler information. So if you want to stay spoiler free, this video is 100% not for you, but we are going to be covering everything leaked up to now just to kind of have a little bit of an oversight on what to expect coming into these games. I feel like it's a good time to do it now, especially with all the information that kind of started creeping out over the weekend about potentially people having their hands on a copy of the game. So you've got to imagine that the, the data mine, the games are going to be coming out and information is going to follow that in the next week or two at the very latest. So like we have been doing in the past few videos, we're going to be using this great resource. This is Makio.it. You can find it linked down in the description below. It's Makio and Jira have put this incredible site together it's full of amazing information that we've got leaked officially confirmed stuff all about the new games coming out you're going to be able to find like everything in, on this site and it is super interesting and uh, we're going to be using it again today we've got the full gen 9 pokedex so far and all information about everything that has been leaked or compiled here for you in a really nicely wrapped little present. So we're just gonna go through everything to see what we've got so far. And you can click on any of the Pokemon. It will take you to a specific page and tell you a bit more information about the leaked information, where it came from, and how the leaks kind of back up the information that we've got so far. Uh, so we, we know the starter information. We've covered this on the channel before we got Sprigatito for your Coco and Quaxley, and then their kind of evolutions. Obviously, this is all fan art stuff because we don't have any official images just yet of the starter evolutions but you can see that they are going to turn into their respected types which we like i say we have covered which is going to be sprigatito evolution final evolution is going to be that grass dark we've got fiococo going to be the fire ghost type and quaxley that water fighting type so you can click in on these a lot of hinges on these starters and what their final evos look like going to be coined as a magician pokemon being that grass dark type as well and it, it's a cool a concept i like it and we have seen some images pop up but it is going to be the magician pokemon who kind of backs that up there as well but we know most of the information about the starters you've got fiococo going to be more of a an alligator crocodile looking pokemon which is pretty cool and then the quaxley one which i'm worried about more than anything if i'm totally honest uh, I really hope, I'm praying this final Evo looks good. It is going to be more like a dancer kind of peacock Pokemon. We have had some images kind of leak about it before as well, but I am praying that this one is going to be good. Let me know what your thoughts are about these. Then moving on, we got Lechonk and Lechonk's Evolution. Lechonk's Evolution, obviously we know it's going to be part normal type, but we don't know the secondary typing on it. It is going to have a kind of gender split evolution as well. We know this from the leak information that we've had. We've had a bunch of stuff already on the leaked information is going to have a male evolution and a female evolution and we've got the poor me uh, evolution line it is going to have two evolutions so three stage evolution pokemon we've had poor me officially confirmed and then we're going to have like the second evolution is going to be an electric fighting type and then the final evo here which is going to be electric fighting is going to look something like this pretty cool typing if i'm completely honest i like the the mix of electric and fighting and we've had it was confirmed to be actual gameplay footage. This is what it probably is going to look like. Concept art as well. It's very similar. So that is going to be Paul Me's third evolution. Smaller is going to be the next one. It is a three-stage evolution as well. Going to end up being a grass normal type, which has been confirmed there. So I'm kind of surprised. Uh, we'll get onto it later on in this that it isn't another typing, but grass normal, interesting typing. Fan art here is pretty cool. It's kind of God of War-esque as well, which I probably imagined it to be a little bit like when you first saw small of being announced uh, olive tree humanoid has branches has arms not quite waifu like nor husbando like so it's kind of in between both i guess but n like neither so you've got a bit of information about what ku kind of said about it there and uh, it's just been kind of recapped in this article but um small of gonna have a three-stage evolution i'm sure it'll be a cool pokemon though nonetheless and then we've got fido the little pastry pokemon fairy type we know all about this officially confirmed and then it is gonna have an evolution which is i guess along the lines of like a baked cake uh, red and brown colors and uh, we had a um, big 
hint about this from Ku really early on in the leaks and this is just kind of saying Fido and its Evo riddle getting more delicious when it evolves actually begins to toss it well not kidding so yeah you can see it is going to be like a baked cake and uh, Fido is obviously not the baked version just the pastry pre the pre-cooked version Fido uh, then we move down on to Grievard, uh, which was officially released just last week going to be the new kind of ghost pure ghost type puppy pokemon it is going to have an evolution and it will stay pure ghost uh, here's some concept art of this one and who knows what it will end up looking like and then we're going to have another dog pokemon as well but this one's going to be a dog type so bulk dog and uh, this one's going to be a dog type it is going to have an evolution and maybe this one might be a bit of a better version of my tiena i don't know we'll, we'll find out at some point so next one is going to be the spider pokemon this has been hinted at a bunch of times so we're going to get a pure bug type evolution line spider teased in the first trailer looks like a tarantula fourth image should be the chinese name you can catch it in the early roots of the game and this has been hinted for a long time throughout a bunch of things and get access to it pretty early on in the game and it is going to have an evolution so it's going to be like another galvantula sort of pokemon except without the electric typing another bug type so bug fans out there are going to be happy we get a beetle pokemon here and uh, this one's going to be pure bug type again new beetle pokemon is based on dung beetle it evolves once and you can catch it early on it has got an evolution here and it goes from bug to bug psychic so there you can see some of the information we'll not go into detail of every single leak you know where the leaks are if you want to come check out this website you can have a further look into it just to, for the sake of keeping this video a little bit shorter and then we've got another bug type as well this one is going to be the bug dark type you came in radar inspired pokemon run behind player can cause irritation and catch it in the early roots this will evolve into a kind of a humanoid bug type bug dark type which is pretty cool i like the, the combination there and uh, again you can go down and and see a bit more information about the leaked information and then we move on from the bugs we've got a new bird type and it is going to be a flying electric type one of my favorite typings and uh, nice to see this and a seagull pokemon i like this fan art if it's anything like the fan art i think this will be a really cool pokemon um so it is going to have an evolution and it is going to evolve into a big seagull uh, but keep the type in as it uh, as it as it goes. Ku saying here in the leaks, it's amazing, very fierce. So it should be quite a cool Pokemon, especially hopefully in competitive as well. We got the Parakeet Pokemon is another bird and that was revealed in the trailers actually whether or not it was meant to be it was probably meant to be in there wasn't it and uh, this was on one of the maps while other things were going on in the trailers and spotted out by a bunch of people along with these other pokemon that we'll cover in this video next one flamingo pokemon again this one was leaked quite early on official imagery coming out here and people thought this probably wasn't real but it has been confirmed to be real it is going we're going to get a flamingo pokemon for the first time it is going to be a flying and fighting type pokemon not going to have an evolution just a, a single stage pokemon and then we're going to have another one which is going to be an ostrich pokemon so going with these long leg bird pokemon in here so kind of coming back i'm surprised we haven't got like a Dodrio or Dodrio kind of regional form in these games and so we've got an ostrich pokemon going to be a psychic type psychic ostrich reminds me of cleopatra in hairstyle and color there it is going to have an evolution the ostrich too and this is going to be the cleopatra looking one which is evolution and it is going to be a pure psychic type bird next up we've got the titan and it's pre-evolution so the titan is going to get a pre-evolution and it is going to be pure ice type we don't know a great deal of information on this but this was revealed to titan obviously in the official trailers as one of gush as the gym leaders uh, pokemon that they'll be using next up we got the dolphin pokemon it is going to be in the games and uh, its evolution has a surprise it doesn't evolve it literally looks the same it is going to be more of a humanoid pokemon uh, when it does evolve though the doll the dolphin so its evolution has a surprise it doesn't evolve it has two different forms one bipedal and looks like a superhero should have a heart shaped belt belly bolt we've had confirmed already and it is going to get a pre-evolution as well going to be pure electric the pre-evolution and then we've got another fish pokemon a hake fish pokemon which is going to be a water and psychic types and then we're going to have the pink hammer pokemon so pink hammer pokemon it has been kind of leaked that it's typing is going to be 
fairy and steel, very cool typing, uh, a lot like Mega Mawile. I like it for that reason alone. Uh, the color of this Pokemon with the pink hammer, you can catch it in the early routes. So it's gonna be available pretty early on in these games. You're gonna have um, an evolution of it and then a third evolution, but uh, no information, no fan art about it yet. So not much information known about it, just this Sonic character in place to kind of give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. Then we've got the coin Pokemon. Now there's been a lot of information, especially from Ku, in regards to riddles about the coin Pokemon. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of things here and uh, we actually covered it on the channel. And you can see the coin Pokemon here. It is actually depicted in this image here. This is what Ku said, coin, not formal coin. Uh, so it looks a bit like a bug Pokemon. And this is what you can see in these images here. These are going to have to be uh, Pokemon that you're going to have to go around and catch to evolve it into its final evolution, which will be a ghost and potentially steel type. We don't have concrete information on its secondary typing just yet, but you've got to imagine it is probably going to be ghost. And if it is steel, that's pretty cool. So that is the coin Pokemon. Then we're going to have the pepper Pokemon. I'm I'm so looking forward to this pepper Pokemon. It's going to have a really unique typing as well. Grass and fire. Really love this Pokemon. Uh, they all new Pokemon, Habanero, Kappa, Double small paprika head Pokemon taste chili, not real paprika. Run behind player causes irritation, just looks like paprika for me. It's funny. So that, that's the leaked information here. This is obviously cool fine art. Again, if it looks anything like this, it's going to be really a great Pokemon. And it does evolve into this supposedly what looks like a kind of a big dragon Pokemon potentially, but fire and grass very good typing and then we've got the officially confirmed pokemon armor rouge and serrelege and their pre-evolution which was actually shown in the trailers but not in much detail but this is supposedly the pre-evo of these two pokemon that you're going to be able to get in your respective copy of the game and then depending on what copy you've got if you've got violet it'll evolve into serrelege and then if you've got scarlet it will evolve into armor rouge how it evolves at the minute we don't really know too much information about that next up we've got the crystal flower pokemon again these are images dropped really early on from actual gameplay uh, footage so we've got a poison rock type pokemon it is terrestrializing here into a poison uh, terror type but it is you can kind of see an outline of a flower kind of crystal flower pokemon here uh, so that is going to have a evolution as well keeping the type in but it is a two-stage evolution then we've got the salt pokemon going to be a rock type pokemon we, we did get this shown in the official trailers again alongside the the parakeet pokemon and the mouse couple pokemon so this is a stage one pokemon it is going to be a rock type it is going to be that salt pokemon three stage evolution here we have no idea what it's really going to look like in that third stage evolution very reminiscent of kind of minecraft characters i guess mm -hmm. then we've got the engine pokemon it is going to be poison steel i like this type in a lot imagine if it has levitate how crazy would that be uh but yeah we've seen this in the official trailers just hinted at with the team star bases and it is going to have an evolution as well keeping that poison steel typing and then we're going to have something that i've not really had too much coverage on but a tumbleweed pokemon it's going to be grass and gorse typing and this is going to be all based on on tumbleweed it is going to have an evolution so you're going to be able to evolve this one but not really too much information ab out about that then we're going to have the mouse couple another pokemon that was revealed very coyly in the trailers uh, on that map image where we had the the salt pokemon the parakeet and then we got the mouse couple as well so this is going to be uh, its first form and then you're going to have a mouse family which will be its evolved form uh, or al alternative form and there is a bit more information that has come out earlier today where Kuz talked about this, this Pokemon and having a, a, a more common type you'll be able to find and a rarer type that is extremely rare to find. So if that is the pre-evolution, you're going to get it and it will evolve into more mice. So then we've got Cloth. It is being confirmed. It is going to be one of the Titan Pokemon, pure rock type Pokemon. Uh, enough said, it's a crab Pokemon. And we've, we've seen a bunch of footage from it in the official trailers. We're going to get an Earthworm Pokemon as well. It is going to be a pure steel type. We have had this teased in the original trailers that actually dropped very early on. I think the first trailers that dropped about Scarlet and Violet. And we kind of saw the images here of it burrowing underground in a big kind of uh, earth explosion kind of coming up and this is all from this earthworm pokemon i thought it was going to be something to do with a diglet 
uh, region form, but turns out not. It's going to be an Earthworm Steel type Pokemon. So hopefully that turns out to be good. And then we've got another bird Pokemon, lots of birds. Uh, but yeah, I guess it kind of falls in line with everything that we've seen so far. It is going to be based on a crane, this one, and flying dog type. So similar type to what we've seen before with things like Mandibuzz and, and other Pokemon like that, but all based on a crane. Not going to have an evolution just on its own. Then we're going to have a sushi fish Pokemon, which is going to be really cool. I like the idea of a sushi fish Pokemon. Great typing as well with dragon and water. Uh, it's going to be a titan Pokemon as well. Not really too much information about it. Um, and then the Sushi Master as well. Titan Duo with the Sushi Fish. That's not what we expect. Looks like a Catfish. So it's going to be more of a Catfish Pokemon as well from the information that we've got. Then moving on, we've got the Wiglet. We've seen Wiglet before. It is going to be a regional fake Pokemon a divergent form of Diglett. And uh, we know it's pure water from the official uh, trailers announcing that but it is going to have a evolution as well uh wug trio potentially the name i don't know if it's going to be the name or not but uh, it is going to be pink in its evolution color this was confirmed by ku uh, so we are expecting uh wiglet to evolve and it will be wug trio or something along those lines with a kind of pink color to it now Wiglet is not the only regional fake that we're going to get. It has been hinted at that we're going to get another one in the form of Tentacool and Tentacruel. Now, this does excite me. I like the idea of this one. Uh, it is going to be part grass type, potentially part uh, ground as well. I like that typing a lot. It is very unique. I like the fan art here. It looks very cool. Uh, but from information that we've got from the leaks, it is going to be very mushroom looking. Uh, so whether or not we'll get any information on this before the games drop, I don't know, but this one I do like. I like Tentacool and Tentacruel. They're one of my favorite types from Gen 1. So them getting a regional form in these games is pretty exciting. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what the actual artwork looks like, even though this fan art is pretty awesome. Then we're going to get the pseudo legendary of these games, which is going to be an ice dragon type. It's going to be a three stage evolution. Ice dragon, uh, unique type and we've seen it before but this is going to be the Paldia's kind of pseudo legendary and uh, I do like the fan art here uh, new dragon ice Pokemon pseudo legendary will catch it in the late game so it won't be available early on it will be later in the game where you're going to be able to get this three stage Pokemon from which is kind of fitting for most pseudo uh, legendary Pokemon you know Salamence uh, Larvitar, they're all available later on when you normally play the games next one up we're going to get the Mankey line and Primeape and it does get an evolution primate getting an evolution into a ghost and fighting type which is very cool love this type in same type in as Marshadow, shadow and we've got a regular kind of pokemon with this type in now and it's all going to be from primate which makes it even better so i really love this not too much information on this uh, evolution of primate i was convinced we were going to get this revealed in the halloween trailers but we got Grievard instead. Uh, another evolution of a, a past Pokemon is going to be Bishop. It is going to get an evolution. There is a bit more information about this one, about images of what it would look like. More samurai looking uh, master uh, for Bishop, keeping it same typing though, that dark and steel typing, still good typing. And finally, for the fan servers, Dunsparce is eventually going to get an evolution. It is going to stay a normal type, which is surprising, but it's going to be a lot bigger. Dunsparce's evolution doesn't change much. It's just a little bit bigger. It's just normal type has alternative forms. So it does have some alternate forms, which is pretty cool. Bit of a shame if it just stays at normal type. I mean, it's not a bad type in at all, but you know, you kind of wish that it would turn into something. I always wished it would turn into a kind of part dragon type. A normal dragon would have been very cool, but I'm not going to complain that we are getting a Dunsparce evolution finally. Rigoraf, uh, we've already seen these officially confirmed, and Paldean Wooper is already being confirmed that poison ground type, and it is going to have an evolution into something that people are kind of thinking that it's going to be along the lines of one of the beta pokemon designs uh, which would be poison and ground keeping that original typing from the palladian whooper so uh be interesting to see how that one turns out then we're going to get some regional forms of taurus so paldean taurus one two and three
three we're going to get a fighting type pure fighting type which makes sense from the region where it is uh, a matador kind of bullfighting and then we're going to get a fighting fire and a fighting water which actually really excites me i like the the fact that we're going to get three versions of taurus potentially and then we're going to have all the paradox pokemon i'll not go into detail about these we did a specific video all on the paradox pokemon if you want to check that out on the channel uh, it will be linked in the description if you want to go through all that and the information there but we've got the the past forms and the future forms that we're going to see in these games as well as dlc content as well and then we're going to get the legendary pokemon for this game so it's going to be a bit like the tapus but they're not going to be fairy types they're all going to be dark based pokemon so we're going to get a dark fire a dark ground dark ice and dark grass and i love the concept of these i like that there's a lot of dark pokemon in these games a yu yu fish a dinglu deer jan bar leopard and a jan war snail and uh, i really like the snail design it's cool fan art for all of these is amazing i keep saying about the fan art but the fan art that we are seeing is incredible you know and if there any of the designs are like this I'm going to be super happy. Let me know what you think though, but um, I really like the concept of, of this group of legendaries that we're going to be getting. Very excited to see how they actually turn out in game, but uh, the Titans are cool and I like the theme of them. Then we've got Cryodon, Mariodon, we've seen those. Size Lazar, we've seen that officially released as well. And then I don't know if the Titans though for Mariodon and Cryodon have been officially released yet. I think on the website they're still. They haven't had their types confirmed. I want to say that, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, I'm coming on the website now. Nothing's been confirmed about them, so I'm not just making this up. This is actual truth. I keep saying it, so now we know. Typings have not been confirmed, which is pretty interesting. Uh, so yeah, we've got those three we've all seen, um, but we know the typings of Coridon, Maridon, and then there is going to be the third legendary, which is all said to be based on the terrestrializing mechanic and it is going to be that face that we see in the crystal the head crown that we see a lot of the time um but we don't really know too much information and whether or not we'll get information on it in the base games it's said that we'll get information on the third legendary in the dlc content so the main base games aren't really going to finish the story off altogether about terrestrializing the mechanic in general and we're going to get that information about this third legendary in one of the dlcs and the content there but that is everything that we've got in the pokedex for new pokemon coming in we've got a bunch of stuff lot it feels like we got a lot of kind of bird pokemon and uh mixed with with dog pokemon as well but there is a lot of other pokemon in there and obviously none of this is officially confirmed yet other than the official confirmed pokemon that we mentioned as we've gone through the list so this can all change but i would say most of the pokemon that we've got here are from very reliable sources so i'd imagine things will look very similar to how things appear when stuff does start to get leaked or officially confirmed and but i wanted to put this together for you today that's what i said because i think with the data mines coming up very soon and information leaked information as people seem to have the games coming out very soon it'd be nice to look back on this and see how close we were with a lot of this leaked information with the fan art and things like that with how close they are to the information that is actually in the games but of course anything that is getting officially announced we will cover on the channel and anything that does get leaked we will try and cover as much as we can in the run-up to these new games i'm very excited and let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are on a lot of these leaked pokemon on the pokedex so far are you happy with everything that you've seen is there a particular favorite that you've seen over another one and i look forward to reading through them and we'll be back with another video on scarlet and violet very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye